Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, so this is one of the video in the series that how to do the maintenance on uh, the uh, Honda Shadow uh, VOX. So today I'm gonna install the engine guard. So uh, the instruction is pretty bad because it's have no picture on it and it's only have um, written on it so it's pretty uh, hard to understand but uh, so so you, you you got the mount bar itself and then this is all you get for the hardware so two spatial and uh, and a, a, a bolt so what are you supposed to do is it's supposed to be something like this so you hook up right into the horn right here you have to remove the horn there's a screw up on top of the horn and you plug it in over there and then um, oops and then the two uh, bottom uh, attachment right here and the other side uh, I think it's supposed to go here and it's supposed to go on uh, and it's supposed to go here on the other side so uh, but in order to get the uh, the screw up here you have to remove this cover right here so this cover you can remove it by remove the screw up here one the screw up here um, so uh, I'm gonna stop the video right now I'll remove all this, uh, that screw and then I remove uh, the cover and uh, and then we're gonna go on from there uh, so after you remove screw here you can uh, open the cover up you don't have to take it out you just open it and it will show you where this screw right here that's where you're supposed to put the the hanger on first so as you can see it's right here so go ahead and remove that remove this the other horn gonna drop so you can move the horn after that okay hello you guys so finally I got it installed uh, it's kind of tricky but um, if you put a little time to it uh, you should get it to work so the problem is first is uh, my problem is uh, first I put this uh, this bolt in first so that's not good so this one you're supposed to uh, take it out and then lay this bar right here so what do you need to do is you put the two side on first then you flip this up and then you put this bolt in and then uh, another mistake is this spacer right here the spacer that they give it to us it's not down here first I show you that you need to put it down here but it's not it's, you put it on top so you remove the spacer up here and then you put it uh, there the new spacer there and uh, everything else should be plugged in uh, same thing with the other side so the other side the spacer they give us is on the top so the bottom you just need to uh, use the old spacer so that's it so all I need to do is uh, put the line this cover back in and then uh, put the screw on the top back and that is how it should look So uh, I'll probably use this and uh, see if how it go. But you know the engine guard is almost it's also good if you you know you accidentally drop the the bike, uh, so it won't damage uh, the engine or uh, any part of the bike. Or uh, you know sometimes you got your leg caught, and uh, this uh, help you to uh, not get injured. 
and so it's easy for you to pick it up if you actually drop it. So uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you find it helpful and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.